Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out another episode of Ultimate Showdown. Today we have the 2021 ZL1 versus the 2021 GT500. And to help me with the introductions, I am honored to have some help from our good friends at Throttle House. So make sure you check out their channel and subscribe. It is truly an honor to have them handle the introductions for me. So let's get into it. The Ford Mustang GT500. The GT500 is the new nemesis and Ford's answer to one of our favorite cars and coincidentally the fastest car to grace the throttle house test track back in old Canada. The Camaro ZL1 1LE, which by the way has more torque than that Mustang. Okay, so no it doesn't buck like a Mustang. But this is the ZL1 1LE and that means something. And yes, some of that is fun visual stuff like the black accents, but the 1LE package does everything with one thing in mind, grip. And that comes in two main flavors. First, we have these co-developed exclusive to this car, Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 R tires, which as I found out early this morning can be a bit scary in the cold. But also because of the insane aero, we have a specially designed front splitter, these ridiculous canards, and that one piece spoiler at the back, which alone creates 300 pounds of downforce. So here's how we score the contenders. We base it on curb weight, quarter mile track time and horsepower, and then on road course track time. So let's get into it. So first up is our 2021 Mustang GT500 with that distinctive 5.2 liter flat plane crank supercharged and has an average curb weight of 4,171 pounds. The 2021 ZL11 LE with a 6.2 liter LT4 supercharged has an average curb weight of 3837. So we're giving the winner in this category to the ZL1. So on the quarter mile track time and horsepower, the ZL11 LE has a quarter mile track time of 11.6 seconds is 650 horse and has, has a zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds where the gt500 track time on the quarter mile was 11.4 seconds and the zero to 60 was 3.6 and is 760 horsepower so we're going to give this category to the gt500 so on the road course at nurburn ring the z011 le did a 7.16 second track time the GT500 didn't fare as well as the ZL11 LE, but it still put up a respectable 7 minutes and 39 seconds at Nürburgring, and it's not to take away from either one of these cars. Both are great sports cars. So for the road course portion of this showdown, we're going to give it to the ZL11 LE, as not many would be surprised by. Now, this is not to take away from either one of these cars. Some may say that this could be a tie, and the, and the GT500 could excel over the ZL11 LE, in different aspects and i would not disagree both of these cars are are superior cars but based on our metric for this showdown we're giving the overall to the zl11 le want to give a special thanks to our, our friends at throttle house make sure you subscribe to their channel and i want to give a big thanks for allowing the, us to use some of their footage um, from that showdown that they did we'll put the link in the description my hope is that one day we can be a tenth of as good as they are. So thank you very much, guys, for the support in allowing us to use your video. That's it for this one, guys. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And we will see you soon.